Hi again. Um, just in case you're wondering, I put lipstick and gloss on uh, because I want to look my best, okay? So, one year on into HRT. Uh, total time I've been on HRT so far is 15 months. When I recorded last time, I was just past my three month period. So, here you are, 15 months later, and um, there's been a few changes. Uh, first of all, one of the ones that everyone kind of notices is my face has changed. Um, anyone who's been around me from the very beginning of this journey of mine has remarked that they can see the changes in my face. It's, it's flattening out, uh, the fat is redistributing, it's definitely looking different. Um, the, the woman who does my manicures and my pedicures and all that other stuff, she has been with me all the way along the line. And she's mentioned that uh, she sees it all the time. So, the face changes. Not so much voice, but I'm working on that. Uh, skin has definitely gotten softer. I won't say it's baby butt smooth yet, but it has gotten softer. Um, there are parts of my body, uh, mostly my tummy, that I'll touch and I'll be like, oh, that feels so soft. Uh, HRT, hormones do that for you. Um, my body hair is slowly going away. Uh, there are areas where it's kind of rubbed off and it's just not growing back. Uh, every once in a while I still have to, you know, trim down the hair on my arms and on my hands, but not as much. It pretty, it's pretty much gone. Uh, and as far as my legs are concerned, really, I end up shaving my legs maybe like once every three weeks just to get the stray stubble off. And that's it. Um, I'm pretty good there. The most obvious thing, well, things actually that have happened to me are, um, sorry about the fidgeting of the hair, um, the girls, <laughs> yes, here we are, girls, yes. Um, they haven't gotten enormously big. I'm almost a full B cup. The bras that I have now, I've had since January, so I've had them for 10 months. And I'm almost filling them out completely. The one thing I do have, and it's something that my HRT doctor told me only about 15 or 20% of trans women actually get, is I have side breast tissue. Um, the way she explained it is most trans women, the breast tissue just develops and sort of pops out. And in my case, I'm actually forming the tissue on the side. It's becoming conjunctive. It's forming around my body, actually. So she says that my breasts are filling out rather than getting bigger. They're becoming more mature. And she says that's something that um, is really kind of nice in that, I guess you could say, I have side boob. <laughs> But uh, I don't really expect him to get big. Um, I'll probably hit full B cup maybe in another year or so. She says it. After about two to two and a half, maybe three years, your, your breast development is pretty much done for. It's gone. So maybe I'll hit full B, maybe just a little bigger. I'm not really concerned. Um, your, your boobs are like your genitals. They don't define you as a woman. Uh, what defines you as a woman is the fact that you are a woman. So, and last but not least, um, my hips and my butt <laughs> have finally uh, come out, come in, whatever you want to call it, they're there. Uh, I actually began noticing that back around the end of this last July, beginning of August, uh, when I was beginning to wear uh, slacks of a few more times. I wore my jeans a few times when the temperature dropped. And I was like, when I first pulled them on, I was like, mm, you know, these are a little tighter than they used to be. I'm having some 
difficulty pulling them up. And I thought it was because of weight gain, which I'll get to in a minute. And then I realized, you know where it's catching in the back. And I felt around back there because I don't have a full length mirror, so I can't really look. And I noticed that, yes, um, my behind had filled out. There used to be a dimple on both sides in the back where the gluteus muscles were sort of splitting off or whatever they do. And there was a little dimple in both sides there. And that dimple is no longer present. It is gone, gone, gone. And um, there's some jiggle back there now. So. Uh, yes, I have a booty. Yes, I'm a cutie with a booty. So there you go. But uh, HRT has been good. I've stuck with my labs. I see my doctor now about once every six months. And I was told that I'll only need labs about once a year now. And that's probably for the immediate future. I know I have another session of labs coming up in either December or January. I still have to schedule. And then I don't meet my doctor again until February. And then I probably won't see her again until July or August. At which point I'll have been on HRT for just over two years. So It's happening. And it's coming along real good. Now, are there any downsides to this? Yeah, we'll get to that next. <laughs>